Wait, are Moon sentient? This one's running from me. I hate the ice. Ugh. 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 I thought that would work. Uh, never mind, I got it. Wait, the moon got... The moon is alive, dude. Come on. We really have to start calling into question the, the ethics of having moons power the whole of Nudong City and my ship, the Odyssey ship. Because, like, it's you see it moving around down there, and if you're like, oh, you know, it's merely uh, just the power, the energy is moving in it. It's not alive. That doesn't mean it's alive. But what about when I hit it with my hat and you see the stun mark above its head, huh? You, you, can you explain that one? Probably not. Because it's real. It's alive. The moon, the power moons are alive, people. Wake up. Pauline has you all under her spell. She is sacrificing hundreds, if not thousands, of innocent power moon lives to power New Donk City. You think you really think that there's an energy source that's just completely perfect? Come on. Oil was getting too expensive, too hard to find, so Pauline needed to come up with something quick. That's how she managed to unite. <laughs> That's why everyone loves Pauline. And didn't you think that was a little weird? Because she brought down taxes by making energy so cheap and efficient. But at what cost? Are we really happy? Are we really fine living in luxury off the backs of the innocent? The power moons? They're dying. They're being sacrificed. They're bred in farms. This is beyond just having a hamster running in a wheel to power the city. They're dying. Did you see how they're drained? I mean, I like how I'm getting on Pauline's case here. Uh, Mario does the same thing. In fact, that's what I'm looking for right now is a power moon to to drain its energy. Uh, fun, funny how that works. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I came here to do an expose. <laughs> I came here to do uh, some journalism on the power moon exploitation scheme going on in New Donk City. This is a far bigger operation than I could have ever imagined. Dear God. Look. The power moons. They they had such such life in them. Such glow, such luster at first, but they're they're drained of everything, drained completely dry and you know, thrown into a landfill somewhere. It's absolutely disgusting. This has been Mario Mario. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom News. <laughs> Those power moons are a great source of urban energy. Disgusting. It's like they don't even care. It's just like they don't even care, man. Oh! <gasps> that Goomba. <laughs> that Goomba is... I... I did it. I... I can't believe it, I, I killed Mario! Goomba goes to Bowser. Bowser, uh... What is it? I'm waiting for Mario. I, I killed him. What? Yeah, I, I killed Mario earlier. He, he was on a ledge. I, I got got up. I just, you know, ran into him. Like us Goombas do, and he, he fell. He was dead. No! No, 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 you're telling me you killed Mario? What the fuck is wrong with you, Goomba? What? I thought that's what you wanted us to do, boss. No, you idiot! I'm supposed to fight Mario, and then, you know, the, the comfortable status quo? Shit! Well, all these Goombas are going straight down to hell with me. <laughs> Goombas are so stupid, dude. You would think that since they're like, their body composes of just 90% head, they'd be smarter, but I, I guess their brain didn't grow proportionally to their head size. He, he just ran into a stack of Goombas. I feel like once you get to a certain height of the Goomba Tower, they shouldn't be able to tell you're an enemy anymore. Like, look how high up they'd have to look to realize that Mario's standing on top. Excellent work, gentlemen. Very excellent work. You served a good cause, but you are no longer of use to me. <laughs> I don't remember if I got a moon here because I was too busy- oh, I didn't. I, f I don't remember what I was doing in here the last time. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was... I was ranting about the ethics of power moons as an energy source. And I forgot to look for a power moon. Kind of fitting. Kind of fitting that that would be the reason why I didn't get the power moon. Is the, moon, is the snow really gonna float? Okay, this... <laughs> is this Tetris? <laughs> what is this? It's like a puzzle game when the blocks just slowly lower down. Get up there, I see something up there. Oh! 
What the secret power move? My god, Nintendo Nintendo's done it again, honestly. Truly geniuses. Slip behind the ice, get it? Because you slip on ice. That's so good. The riding team is fucking phenomenal. I can't. What else could I even use to describe? You slip on ice because ice is slippery. Damn, you know what I'm just realizing? Look how massive Mario's head is. <laughs> Comparatively. His head is so big. His head grows like 30% in size when he goes to Mario 64 mode. Is that a large head? He was smarter back then, but he got made fun of, so... We could use ice as a spice! Dude, like, that rhymes, so that's cool, but also that makes no fucking sense outside of the rhyme. He just... He just wanted to make a rhyme. Forgotten in the holding room. Oh, they forgot it, so that means it's okay for me to take it, right? <laughs> wow. Mario should turn into a massive snowball here. Just from rolling down the hill. Turn into a snowball and fucking destroy the elder. Just kill him. Wipe him out. The elder's dead! Oh my god, a giant snowball just killed him! Dude. Huh? There's just a moon out in the open here. You can tell they really didn't care about that moon. That is kind of... We had to reach our moon quota off the moon rock. But, uh, didn't really have anywhere else to put it, so... We just kind of left it out in the open. Why? Well, did, did you at least hide it? No. Fish. What if I just get- Are those- I thought those were penguins, I was about to say. Penguins don't fly. It's kind of their thing, actually, is that they're like one of the few flightless birds. It's kind of weird, like why would you even spec into being a bird if you're just not gonna fly, you know? I don't think it was their choice, but whoever designed penguins and the character creator, I feel like they really messed up. Alright, well, now that I have used this cheap cheap to my own ends, I shall now leave it here. Alone, with no way of returning back to its natural habitat. Actually, it might just get sucked into the void, right? Yeah, I forgot that happens. Shiveria. <laughs> you know, I know a guy named Shiv. It's kind of close. It's cool. What? What? <laughs> the sporting event here is the Bound Bowl Grand Prix. Only Shiverians are allowed to participate. <laughs> but when you watch a race, you'll understand why no one else could participate. This is bullshit. This is some, like, only Shiverian sturdiness could survive a race based on bounding violently. Oh, shut up. This is some racist shit. Come on. Hey, look. I mean, you know, other people aren't allowed to compete, but it's because we're the only ones who can compete, you know? Like, this is some apologist bullshit, bro. Come on. They're just scared of losing the people from outside of their race, which is exactly what happened outside of their species. Because it might get confusing if I say race. For this and race. The point is, the one time someone from outside their species participated in their race, it was me, it won. Like four times actually. So you know, the Shiverians, they're they're cowards. That's all I'm saying. Especially renowned is the frost frosted cake. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> we it's just frost, sir. Like like the like the food frosting? No, no, it's just actual frost, like from outside. We went outside, grabbed some snow, and just threw that shit on the cake, called it a day. Bound your way through a race, build in species permitting, but this is a travel brochure for tourists. So if you're a tourist, you're not going to be a Shiverian by definition. So, uh, you, you can't participate in this race. I don't know why they would even put this in, in the travel brochure. The only people who can participate are people who wouldn't need a travel brochure. Whatever, this place is full of bigots, I'm out of here. Well, wait, what is that? Who, who, who did the planning for this city? Oh. Oh, Mario's a dumpster diver now. Look, why are there, like, traffic things on the... On the side of the building? Who put these here? Uh, you know, just in case any cars get any funny ideas. But yeah, see, everyone loves the mayor, Mayor Pauline. She has her own commemorative park, as you can see. I think even Mario, you know, even I love Mayor Pauly. But like, she's evil. And I've accepted that personally. I mean, those taxes are so damn low, bro. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to pay all that goddamn money. But Mario, you're very rich. Well, you know, I, you don't get rich by spending money on worthless shit like the planet. Come on.
It's always shocking and saddening when Mario travels to a place like Shipperia and you see that civil rights just aren't up to par. 